If you've ever considered long-term care insurance, or really the possibility of needing to pay for somebody to come in and take care of you, you're going to want to hear about this today. So today we're talking about short-term care insurance. And you say, well, what's that? Well, it's an alternative to long-term care insurance. And it just doesn't cover the care for as long. So a couple of the highlights of short-term care insurance is, first of all, it's easier to qualify for. So you can have some pre-existing conditions. You can have some chronic conditions. They can't be overly severe. I mean, there's still some limits of who they're going to take on this, but it's much more liberal than a traditional long-term care insurance policy. And the one that we sell the most of, they don't even have a height and weight chart. So somebody that is quite a bit overweight, and that usually goes with some chronic conditions, many times we can get them on one of these policies. The other thing is it's less expensive than long-term care insurance, is you're not going to have to have something like your mortgage payment for long-term care insurance. Um, the premiums are much smaller, and you know I could just you could say the disadvantage is it really covers up to a year of care, and you say well why would I want something that smart that short, and what I, what I'm going to tell you is it's going to solve a problem for your family because it's really your family that bears the burden of you needing care. I mean if you're if you're like me and you're going to need care at some point. Um, I'm going to want to get that care at home. So, um, you know, I, I really don't choose to go to an assisted living or a nursing home. I mean, there, sometimes there is not a choice and you just kind of got to go there. But many times, and especially in the modern times, as times are changing, those same people that are in the nursing home, if they had the proper cash flow and the pro proper access to resources for home health care, they could get that same care and stay in their home. And, you know, I've been with a lot of folks that they're in their 80s and with the whole family and somebody has a stroke or they have declining health or they have something that requires care and it creates a crisis in the family. And the kids come in from out of town if they're live out of town and we're all sitting there and we got a crisis and what are we going to do with mom or dad? And then mom or dad rings in on the thing and if there are these people that say, I'll just pay for it myself out of my assets, it is really difficult to get either the kids or the parent who's sick to come off of some of their money to pay for these services for home health care. And what an insurance policy like this is going to do is give you 360 days of care if you do have to go in a facility or 52 weeks at 1200 bucks a week that it's just going to send you a check every week for you to spend on you know on your mom or dad's care or your own care or for your kids to to, to be able to do this um, and it's much easier to get an older person to accept care and to accept the consequences of a you know of, of needing care and paying for that, which is bringing in outside professional health, which is very expensive if we're using the insurance company's money than it is to uh, come off of your own money. So and it just seems to me in these situations that the more money people have, the more money this elderly person has, the harder it is to get them to agree to and pay for that private pay home health care. So, you know, I'm Hans Scheil. I've written a couple of books on these subjects. You can get them at our website, or you can go on Amazon and you can find my books. Um, they're very helpful in educating you about these. I thank you for listening.